welcome to this, the final of Master Team 1987. Well, I hope you all had a great weekend. I think as far as our teams were concerned, it was probably the longest two days of the year. Because after nine weeks of this competition, we are down to the last two teams who are here in the studio to battle it out for the trophy for 1987. Now, the teams that we have with us represent Derby. The Gobologists actually won their semi-final on Thursday. And after that heart-stopping semi-final on Friday, we have with us a team from Northern Ireland. Well, they're the contestants, but let's say hello to them individually. First of all, the team from Northern Ireland, and they are. My name is Michael McGivern. I'm a civil servant working for the Department of Environment, Northern Ireland, <clears throat> and I live in Carrick Fergus, County Antrim. Hello, I'm Janet Copeland. I teach French in Ardenvay High School in Antrim. Hello, I'm David Beatty, and I would like to say hello to my three wee fans, Rosalind, Rory and Chris. And collectively, they play as a team called Carrick Plus One from Northern Ireland. <laughs> Sitting opposite them, the team who come from Derby. Let's meet them. They are... Hello, I'm Richard Baker, a refuse collector from Belper. Hello, my name is Bert Parkin, a retired mathematics lecturer from Kilburn, near Derby. And my name is Richard Kendall, father of two and husband of one from Kilburn, <laughs> Derby. <laughs> the garbologists from Derby. Now, last year, if you'll remember, it was a team from Northern Ireland that took the trophy back across the water. Well, obviously, the team from Carrick would like to take it back again, but uh, the team from Derby are very keen that the trophy should go north this year. Where it goes will be decided in the next 25 minutes. We start the final of Master Team 87 with Round 1 Team Challenge. Teams, if you would like to put your fingers on the buzzers, for the final of this year's Master Team, the best of luck to both teams Let's play. What is the first name of Neil Kinnock's wife? Michael. Gladys. No. Richard B. Lenny. Correct. In chess, which piece is known as a castle? David. Rick. Correct. For how long is a full British passport valid? Bert. Ten years. Correct. Who is the president of the National Viewers and Listeners Association? David. Barry Whitehouse. Correct. In the phonetic alphabet, which word represents the letter S? Richard K. Sierra. Correct. Which line follows? We seek him here, we seek him there. Richard K. Those Frenchies seek him everywhere. Correct. How many sides had the pre-decimal bronze threepenny bit? Michael. Eight. No. Bert. Twelve. Correct. Which city in the USA is called Mile High City? David. Denver. Correct. What nationality are the pop group Aha? David. Norwegian. Correct. In the book of Genesis, what was the name of Abraham's nephew who accompanied him? David. Lot. Correct. View of Delft was painted by which artist who was born? Richard B. Vermeer. Correct. Who was American Secretary of State at the time of the Falklands War in... David. Hig. Correct. <laughs> Why, that was a bit fast and furious. At the end of that first round, the scores are that Carrick plus one have 12, the Garbologists have 10. <laughs> After team challenge, we come to the round in which I say to the teams, it's all yours, when for the only time in this competition in a question and answer round, they're allowed to confer on the answers. Whoever is trailing at this stage goes first, so Garbologists, who are only two behind, are first to go in this round. Team, if you're ready, heads together and for one minute. It's all yours. In which 1959 film did Marilyn Monroe sing with Sweet Sue Society Syncopators? Some like it hard. Correct. Pat Jennings began his football league career with Watford. For which two other sides did he play league football? Tottenham and Arsenal. Correct. What in Latin is the RAF motto? Ad Astra. Correct. The county borough of Torbay was created by the amalgamation of which three towns? Brixham, Paynton and Torquay. Correct. Which Beatle had a solo hit with Photograph? Uh, Ringo Starr. Ringo Star. Correct. Which of these cities is the farthest north? Copenhagen, Leningrad, Helsinki or Stockholm? Stockholm. Helsinki. There are five Nobel Prizes apart from the Peace Prize. What are they? Literature, chemistry... Physics, and medicine. Still one more. Economic. Correct. Who replaced Janet Ellis as presenter of Blue Peter? <coughs> you may still answer. Who replaced Keating. Janet Ellis as presenter of Blue Peter? Karen Keating. No, it was Yvette Fielding. Oh. Garbologists, at the end of that round, you've scored 12 points. Your team total is now 22. <laughs> now, Carrick plus one. One minute in which it's all yours. Which Peter Bogdanovich film took its title from the catchphrase used by a cartoon rabbit? 
What's up, Doc? Correct. Footballer Martin Peters was involved in Britain's first £200,000 transfer fee. Which two clubs were involved? West Ham Spurs. Correct. What in Latin is the Olympic motto? Oh, Altius. Altius Sitius. Fortius. I can't accept that. Kittius Altius Fortius. Which three counties have common borders with the county of Dufford? Pass. Mm. West Glamorgan, Powers and Gwyneth. Which newspaper is mentioned in the Beatles song Paperback Writer? Liverpool Echo. Liverpool Echo. The Daily Mail. Which of these cities is the farthest south? Melbourne, Johannesburg, Buenos Aires or Cape Town? Say Melbourne. Melbourne. Correct. What are the five senses? Touch. Touch. Smell. Smell. Taste. Taste. Sight. Sight. Sight and hearing. And hearing. Mm. Correct. Who took over from Philip Schofield to introduce children's BBC? Yeah. Pass. Pass. Andy Crane. The Field Fair is a member of which family of birds? <laughs> You may still answer. The field fair is a member of which family of birds? Chaffinch. No, they're thrushes. Carrick, at the end of that round, you have scored 10 points, so your team total is 22. Well, that means that at the end of the first two rounds, we're all level with Carrick on 22 points, the Garbologists on 22 points, as we go into our spotlight round. Now, in this round, what usually happens is that whichever team is in the lead at this point gets an opportunity to put a member of the opposition into the spotlight. Well, as both teams are in the lead, what we do is give the choice to the team that answered questions last. So, Carrick, you get first choice of a member of the Garbologists. Who would you like to put into the spotlight, please? We'll try Bert, please. Bert, it's your choice from sport, the 1960s, food and drink, transport, potpourri, or current affairs. I'll try potpourri, please, Angela. Potpourri will be your spotlight subject, Bert. One minute is the time that you have, and it starts. Now, what in heraldry is the colour blue called? Azul. Correct. Which vitamin is also called retinol due to its being essential for night vision? C. Vitamin A. Who wrote the humorous book Transports of Delight? Pass. Spike Milligan. What is the name of the ship's watch which runs from 8 a.m. to midday? Morning. No, the forenoon watch. Which writer of the First World War has been portrayed in a one-man stage show by Peter Barkworth? Pass. Siegfried Sassoon. How much liquid is there in a noggin? Eighth of a pint? No, a quarter of a pint. In Greek mythology, who was the one-sandaled stranger feared by King Pelias? Pass. Jason, a bishop rules over a sea. What does an archbishop rule over? A province. Correct. Which architect was mainly associated with the development of Regent Street and Regent's Park in London? Nash. Correct. A coin was especially minted for the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. What was the denomination? Five pounds. No. No, but it was five shillings. At the end of that round, you've scored six points in the spotlight, so your team total is 28. <laughs> now, Darby, which member of the Carrick team are you going to choose, please? Janet, please, Angela. Janet, your choice in the spotlight from sport, the 1960s, food and drink, transport or current affairs? Food and drink, please. That's your spotlight subject, Janet. You have one minute and your time starts. Now, you buy cakes in a patisserie. What would you buy in a boulangerie? Bread. Correct. Of which larger vegetable is a courgette, a baby variety? Marrow. Correct. Which bean is used in the traditional cassoulet? Flagellet. Haricot beans. Complete this title bestowed upon the great French cook Escoffier, the king of chefs and... Pass. The chef of kings. How does Madeira cake get its name? From Madeira wine. Correct. A shallow pan of hot water with a smaller pan placed in it can be used for cooking sauces. What is this device called? Bamari. Correct. Carolina and Java are types of what? Coffee. Rice. Which country produces the greatest volume of wine? France. Italy. What sauce was traditionally served with boiled mutton? Caper. Correct. Which fish, when dried, smoked and salted, is called a bloater? Herring. Correct. For what is a kilner jar used? Making wine. No, for bottling fruit or vegetables. What is the more common name for the fruit granadillas? Passion fruit. Correct. What is, it's still yours, what is a baby bell? It's a small cheese. Correct. At the end of that round, Janet, no. you've scored 16 points in the spotlight. 
five bonus points on offer now as we play the first of our inner spin rounds. So we'll spin the letters. P is the first letter of the sequence. That must be the first letter of your word, followed by S and G. The 30 seconds starts now. Time is up, teams. Put your pencils down, please. Carrick, how many letters in your word? Nineteen. Thank you. Darby, how many letters in your word? Sixteen. <clears throat> Thank you. Carrick, would you give me a word and spell it, please? Parapsychologically. P-A-R-A-P-S-Y-C-H-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L-L-Y. Thank you. Darby, your word and spell it, please. Prestidigitation. P R E S T I D I G I T A T I O N. Thank you. Well, we play the inner spin round twice in this uh, end of the competition, and the first three letters that our computer offered us were P, S, and G. That gave us 19 letters in the word from Northern Ireland, parapsychologically, 16 letters in the word from Derby, prestidigitation, which, if you were watching last week, you will know means sleight of hand, because it actually happens to be the answer to one of our questions last week. Both words are absolutely correct. They've been checked out by our lexicographer from the OED, who is Bill Trumbull, which means it's the longer of those two words that picks up the five bonus points they go to Carrick and their score goes up to 43 <laughs> well we now play the second of our spotlight rounds and this time it's Derby who get first choice and on the Carrick team they can put either David or Michael into the spotlight so Derby who's it going to be Michael please <laughs> Michael you can choose from sport the 1960s transport or current affairs um, I'll try sport, please, Isa. All right, Michael. Sport. It is. One minute is your time, and it starts. Now, which county has won cricket's county championship most times? Yorkshire. Correct. Where were the 1978 Commonwealth Games held? Um, Brisbane. No, Edmonton in Canada. Which former motor racing champion said of the sport, it is necessary to relax your muscles when you can. Relaxing your brain is fatal. Jack Stewart. Sterling Moss. Who took over as manager of Ipswich Town when Bobby Robson left to become England's manager? Bobby Campbell. No, Bobby Ferguson. Which lady jockey rode two winners at the Cheltenham Festival in March this year? G. Armitage. Correct. Which tennis player lost every final of the Women's US Open from 1973 to 1976? Uh, Yvonne Gulligan. Correct. Who set a world record for the men's 1500 metres at the 1974 Commonwealth Games? Bye. Correct. Which American boxer won heavyweight gold at the 1964 Olympics and later became champion of the world at the same Fra weight? Frazier. Correct. Who was the leading goal scorer in the 1966 World Cup Finals? Eusebio. Correct. Who gave up his teaching job to tour with the British Lions in 1980? Pass. John Carlton. In which American it's still yours? In which American state is Daytona Beach Racing Circuit? Florida. Correct. At the end of that round, Michael, you've scored 14 points. Your team now has 57. <laughs> Now, Carrick, on the Derby team, there's Richard B or Richard K. We'll have Richard B, please. Richard B, your choice from the 1960s, transport and current affairs. 1960s, please. The 1960s, your subject, your era. Richard, if you are ready, your one minute starts. Now, who had a 1964 hit with Move Over, Darling? Doris Day. Correct. Which commoner was awarded the rare honour of a state funeral in January 1965? Sir Winston Churchill. Correct. In 1963, a volcanic eruption caused the formation of a new island. What was the island called? Circe. Correct. Which French philosopher and author refused the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1964? Pass. Jean-Paul Sartre. Who was the third member of the crew of Apollo 11 when Aldrin and Armstrong made the first moon landing? Collins. Correct. Which world champion boxer refused military service in 1967? 
Muhammad Ali. Correct. Who played Fagin in the 1968 film musical version of Oliver? Ron Moody. Correct. Which member of the Rolling Stones died in 1969? Brian Jones. Correct. To what was the Russian Orthodox Church granted full membership in 1961? Pass. The World Council of Churches. Which memorable 1960s courtroom TV series starred E.G. Marshall and Robert Reed as a father and son lawyer team? Marshall and son. No, The Defenders. Which singer reached number one in 1960 with my old... It's still yours. Which singer reached number one in 1960 with My Old Man's a Dustman? <laughs> Don't believe me. Lottie Dottie. <laughs> Talk about the luck of the draw, correct? <laughs> Richard, I'd have been very disappointed if you hadn't got that right, I must say. At the end of that round, Richard V, you have scored 16 points, so your team total is now 44. <laughs> so we now play in a spin once more. So our teams are ready. The computer already has the boxes up on the screen, so let's see what it has to offer this time as we spin the letters. <laughs> first letter of the sequence that must be the first letter of your word followed by K and U in that order your 30 seconds starts now up teams pencils down please first of all northern ireland how many letters in your word none right derby how many letters in your word none neither team has managed to come up with a word well i must admit it is a bit of a stinker isn't it ek and you in fact while we were waiting for our teams there to uh, to come up with their words we ran those letters through our computer dictionary and the computer dictionary actually only came up with three words elk hound elk hounds <laughs> And a word for a South American currency from Ecuador, and they are apparently the equali, and they are the only three words that we can find. And uh, sorry, not not the uh, Equatorial Guinea is in fact where the equali is a um, uh, unit of currency. So uh, in a way, I suppose it's not surprising. But uh, elkhounds is the word that uh, I suppose we might have come up with, but we didn't. Goodness, no point. So that means we end up with uh, still after that round, 57 to Carrick plus one, and 44 to the Garbologists. And if there's anyone at home who actually came up with another word or a longer word, do write and tell us, because we'd like to know what they are. We can feed that into the computer as well. Right, so now in, uh, it's all yours, again, is the round that we come to now. And uh, because at this stage the garbologists are trailing, they're the team that uh, managed to put their heads together first. So garbologists, for one minute, it's all yours. On which race course is the Welsh National Run? Jepster. Correct. What are the first names of Prince Michael's two children? Pass. Frederick and Gabriella, give any year in the life of Beethoven. 1830. No, he was 1770 to 1827. Britain now has four black MPs. Name three of them. Pass. Paul Boating, Diane Abbott, Bernie Grant, Keith Vaz. Which actress took the leading role in the film Educating Rita? Julie Walters. Julie Walters. Correct. Name the first four actors who portrayed Doctor Who on television. William Hartnell, William Hartnell Patrick, Patrick Troughton, John, John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Tom Baker, and Tom Baker. Correct. What was the day, month, and year of VE Day? VE Day. Fifteenth May, nineteen forty-five. No, it was the eighth. <coughs> No, I'm sorry. It was the 8th of May, 1945. Garbologists, at the end of that round, you've scored six points. Your team total is now 50. <laughs> now, Carrick, for one minute, you may work together, and it's all yours. On which race course were the war substitute derbies run throughout both Newmarket. World Wars? Newmarket. Newmarket. Correct. What are the first names of Princess Alexandra's two children? Pass. James and Marina, give any year in the life of Guy Fawkes. Let me see, 16, let me see, 16. 
1605. Correct. He was 1570 to 1606. Name three countries which have hosted the Winter Olympics on more than one occasion. That's right. Okay, America. America. Yes. The other one would be uh, where's Innsbruck? Russia. No, 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 Austria. 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 No, I'm sorry. Mm. I, I can't take accept it. Switzerland, Austria, USA, and France. In which film does Alec Guinness play eight different characters? Pass. Crime, crime, crime. Pass. Pass. Kind hearts and coronets. Name the four original presenters of Game for a Laugh. Henry Kelly, Sarah, Sarah Kennedy, Jeremy Beadle, Matthew, Matthew Kelly. Correct. What was the day, month, and year of VJ Day? <coughs> Nagasaki, wasn't it? Okay. 11th of the 8th, 45. No, it was the 15th of August, 1945. Carrick, at the end of that round, you have scored six points, and your total is now 63. One more round to play. It's team challenge. This will decide the winners of our final for 87. Fingers on the buzzers, teams, if you're ready. Let's play. For which type of wine is a race held every year to bring the new season's Janet? Beaujolais. Correct. What is the maximum legal speed a car can travel at on a sink? Janet. 70. No. Incorrect challenge. Bonus point to the opposition. Full question. What is the maximum legal speed a car can travel at on a single carriageway? Richard K. 50. No. 60. What material is sometimes called quicksilver? David. Okay. Correct. What do the initials IQ stand for when David? Intelligent quotient. Correct. Which former Minister of Sport was a Football League referee? David? Dennis Hiles. Correct. What is the occupation of the character played by Kenneth Connor in Allo Allo? Richard Kane. Undertaker. Correct. Which fictional detective made a first appearance in... You may still answer. Which fictional detective made a first appearance in the mysterious affair at Styles? Richard Kay? Hercule Poirot. He did indeed. Two extra points to the garbologists and the final score at the end of the final for Master Team 1987. Carrick plus one have 71. The garbologists from Derby have 55. are the gallant runners up and I'm going to ask them both to come down here and join me so that we can now present them with their prizes. Well, we really couldn't have asked for a better final than that. Two absolutely great teams, as always. It's a pity that we can only have one winner, but uh, that's the way it goes in this sort of competition. So we give our congratulations and commiserations, but mainly congratulations, to the garbologists from Derby for being great competitors and for making this a really marvellous final. Gentlemen from Derby, our congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the runners up. <laughs> now the moment where we present the trophy for 1987 to our winners from Northern Ireland and to make the presentation we are delighted to have with us the chairman of the BBC governors Mr Marmaduke Hussey well this is the last moment of a wonderful season of master team 1600 teams applied 400 were interviewed 62 competed and right at the end, out comes Carrick plus one at the top. Very many congratulations. I'm proud to give it to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed and that is where we come to the end of master team for 1987 thank you for watching and we leave you with our congratulations and applause to the winners of master team 87 the team from carrick carrick plus one from northern ireland <laughs>
written collectively as Carrick Plus One. They are, of course, the winners of the BBC's Master Team Quiz Competition, the final of which was screened last night. Now, this is the second year of the programme. The first title holders were also from Northern Ireland, the same county too. This is how the closing moments of last night's final brought victory for Carrick Plus One. What material is sometimes called Quicksilver? David? Mercury. Correct. What do the initials IQ stand for when, David? Intelligent Quotient. Correct. Which former Minister of Sport was a Football League referee, David? Dennis Hile. Correct. What is the occupation of the character played by Kenneth Connor in Allo Allo? Richard Kane. Undertaker. Correct. Which fictional detective made a first appearance in... You may still answer. Which fictional detective made a first appearance in The Mysterious Affair at Styles? Richard Kay? Hercule Poirot. He did indeed. Two extra points to the Garbologists and the final score at the end of the final for Master Team 1987. Carrick plus one have 71. The Garbologists from Derby have 55. <laughs> David, a convincing win, but for me, the, the real knife edge was the semi-final on Friday night. What actually happened? Well, we thought the uh, actual competition had finished before that. Uh, we buzzed in at the very end, and then the bell went, and we thought we had won. By two points? By two points. And so uh, we also we disbanded and left the set, and I nipped outside to give my wife a little quick ring to let her know we had made the final. And just as the... The uh, phone was ringing out, the producer came out and says, hold it there, we've got a slight problem here. <laughs> Only a slight problem, he said. <laughs> and they found out that they uh, miscalculated the score and they had two points more than what they uh, were allocated. Yes. So we decided we had to have a sudden death. Can we just move to, to Janet now? Janet, I would have thought a team like this is all about balance. Uh, how do you achieve that balance, the strengths and the weaknesses? Well, to be honest, I think the balance in our team was partly a matter of luck because I was a late replacement for someone else. The team actually consisted of um, David and Michael plus a guy called Billy Stewart from Carrick Fergus. But when he couldn't make the auditions, they sort of trailed me in screaming by the hair. And any balance that I brought to it was really a matter of luck after that. But Michael, is the key balance, for example, somebody who will excel at sport, somebody else who will excel at, at food and drink like Janet did? Janet was excellent at the food and drink. She was also Crawler, very, good, very good at literature, um, which she didn't get a chance to show. But uh, I find really that the balance is having three people that sort of get on well together and, and have confidence in each other's ability, I think, really. Is the we, thing. Yeah. we thoroughly enjoyed it. I think that's the reason why we did so well. We didn't put any pressure on ourselves. We went mm. across our reason to enjoy it. And have a good crack. But the pressure was there, and how do you respond under that pressure? I mean, I find myself, as I'm sure a lot of people did, wanting to answer questions, and suddenly my mind went blank. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure surely must be there. Well, quite a few people have said that, but really, when you're in the studio and it uh, darkens down the way this one is at the moment, you've got Angela Ripon asking your questions. It's only you and her. And the whole key to it basically is concentration. You can't concentrate in the living room. So if you just concentrate on her, you'd be surprised how quickly you can react under pressure. Janet, yeah. is there ever that fear of drying up? Only when you say your name at the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the worst thing is sitting there saying your name. Yes, After that, it's okay. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Michael, tell me this now. A marathon runner before the big run will, will, will carbo-load with food. <laughs> Did you carbo-load with facts before <laughs> ending uh, the competition? <laughs> Something else. No, I'm <laughs> tempted to say that we, we carbo-load it with drink, but I don't think that, that's, that's fair. Mm. Um, well, w w there's not... If it isn't there, it won't come. It's got to be there somewhere. Um, you can possibly read up on, on things like, you know, historical facts, things like the 1960s, 1970s, because quite a lot of subjects, yeah. you know, those subjects come up quite often. And obviously a great deal of luck is involved as well. And perhaps, well, you need, you need to have your subjects. Perhaps there, it's yeah. something in the Antrim air, because it was the Antrim courses last year, yeah. this year it was Carrick Plus One. May I say, Michael, David and Janet, congratulations from all of us, and thank you for coming in this evening. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.